Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, June the 26th, still coming to you from my home in northern Boone County. And on the phone, I've got Scott Christensen of the University, and Scott is an expert on artificial intelligence. Good to have you, Scott. It's great to be here, Paul. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm doing fine. But, you know, uh, we've been talking with you from time to time about artificial intelligence, and I find the subject is absolutely fascinating. You came up with uh, a, a new angle today. It's called Crystal Nose. What is that? Well, Crystal Nose is a service that uses people's publicly available information to kind of match what we think their personality might be like what might be like based on what they've posted on social media on LinkedIn and other places throughout the web and uh, it's kind of useful especially with us being kind of stuck at home with this covid uh, crisis right now that there's not the opportunity to network and meet people face to face so often we're having to introduce ourselves to people over the phone or through a video call without getting a chance to really uh, have that kind of more informal um, chance to understand the personality. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I ran it on myself and there were some things in there that uh, I could definitely agree with. It says Scott likes to work alone. He likes to uh, work on his projects. He doesn't like to be rushed into decisions. And I think that fits my personality. There's some other things in there that were like Scott is thoughtful, Scott is kind, and um, there may be some confirmation bias there, right? Because I might want to uh, agree with that. Uh, you might have to ask my students or, uh, if uh, that, in fact, is correct. But I also ran it on you, Paul, and I thought we would check in and see, and maybe the listeners will be able to follow along and decide if they are uh, in agreement with this as well. Okay, so, so says, tell me, tell me again, tell me again. How does Crystal Nose figure out your personality? Well, what it does is it tries to look at um, known um, personality assessments, and uh, so it has some data, and it also has some data on what people have posted that match those certain personalities. And so, what it's trying to do is learn from that how to predict what a new uh, individual that uh, it's investigating might be like as far as their personality. So one of the powers that machine learning has is the ability to take data and get trained on it and then be able to predict future behaviors or future uh, events based on that. Okay, so what, what did Crystal Nose say about me? It says that Paul is most likely an optimistic daydreamer who strives to lead a positive impact on those around him. He may appreciate spending a lot of time talking with others. That sounds like you. And there's a chance he may occasionally be late to a meeting. I don't know about that. Uh, But when he, uh, you may be occasionally late to a meeting, but when you arrive, you're likely to bring a lively, colorful story. Being late, that uh, that really did hit it on the nose because it did I run late a long time. Yes, it did. Now, how could it figure that out from what's being posted? Well, I, that's part of the black box of machine learning. We don't know exactly what things it's keyed in on, but as long as it keeps on making good predictions, it'll get, it'll get better and better. But one of the else, ways that – go ahead. No, no. Did it have anything else, or was that it? Yeah, it says that what comes naturally to Paul, uh, trusting someone quickly. Uh, it says uh, generating new ideas and sharing big, inspiring ideas. And uh, the things that may drain Paul is when uh, a lack of creativity, having his ideas shut down, and when others nick nitpick details. So it sounds like you're kind of a big picture guy. You're someone who's very interested in stories. Uh, So let's say instead of a world famous radio personality, you were the CEO of a company and I had a meeting scheduled with you next week. I might decide rather than uh, talking about my services and the products I might be able to offer your company in technical terms, I might really want to 
start out with a story about how it might transform your uh, way your employees interact or something like that. So it gives you some insight on how to approach people and what's going to be uh, the best way to um, kind of engage them in a conversation that's going to fit um, their kind of way of thinking about the world. That's amazing. Now, is this is Crystal Nose available to anyone? How do you uh, uh, yes. How do you access it? So um, I put it on that website that we've been referencing, uh, learnabout.ai, and uh, they can find a link there. But it's also just crystal, like the uh, like the gemstone crystal, and then nose, like K N O W S. And uh, there's a free trial that you can try it out. I think on five people, and then beyond that, you um, you know pay for the service. So if you were a salesperson, you might decide to actually um, pay for this. But it will use things like uh, LinkedIn is probably the most common. Uh, profile that it uses to uh, gain some insights about a particular person. Now, of course, if you don't post much or if you don't have much uh, out there on the Internet, it's going to be less accurate. So okay. the, more you po- the more you post, the more you've shared, the more accurate this type of system will be. That is uh, that's, that's absolutely fascinating. And in, in some ways, while it's fascinating, I find it uh, a, a little bit frightening too, because it's the flying <laughs> eyes that never close. Right. So we've talked about this before. You know, uh, the the borderline between uh, convenience. It's very convenient if you want to be able to uh, approach Paul and get to know uh, what he's like before you meet him. But it's also kind of on the creepy side, right? Right. Exactly. But if if people want more information. About this, what is the uh, the link again, Scott? Yeah, so so just go to learnabout.ai, and uh, I posted everything we've been talking about on these shows, including Crystal Knows. Okay, Learn About AI. That's the link, and everything will be on there. And Crystal Knows is on there too. So Crystal's a very busy lady, isn't she? She knows it all. <laughs> yes. She's a, she's, a bit, she's a bit of a busybody, it sounds like. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Crystal maybe needs to find a little bit of her own business. But thank you so much, Scott. It's always a pleasure chatting with you, and uh, let's get you back again. I mean, it, 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 it just it's unbelievable, the information that you're sharing with us. Thank you so much, and have a good day. <laughs> 